Hey makers, this is Thruveen and in this session I am going to talk about how you can export list of all the available flow from your environment or from your tenant. Most of the time as the admin we have a concern that how many flows are created to my tenant or how many flows has been created to the specific environment. We wanted to have that entire list in a form of CSV. Then how can we do that? At that time Power Apps and Power Automate PowerShell will help you over here. If you don't know how to get started with Power Apps or Power Automate with PowerShell, the starting video is available in the description box. So do visit that video. And after that, let's get started with PowerShell script development for exporting the entire list of available flows from the tenant. But before that, here is an intro. Here I am on my machine and the main goal is that we need to get the list of all the available flow from our entire tenant and export that in a CSV format. But before that we need to understand few commands. First thing before you get started with this video, make sure that you have installed the PowerShell CMD lights for Power Apps. Note one thing here, here we are using Power Automate command. but even though you need to install the CMD lights for Power Apps. If you do not know how to install PowerShell module, I have created a separate video on that. Link is available in the description box. So make sure that you have configured proper installation in your machine. Once you are done with that part, let's get started with the Power Automate command that we need to execute in our PowerShell. The first command that we need to execute is that we need to connect our power apps. For that what we need to do here is we need to execute a command add power apps account. So let me just execute this command and let's provide username and password over here. The connection has been established successfully. Now with power automate as well we can run two types of command. Either you can run maker command or you can run admin command. I am going to talk about both the things in detail in this video. Suppose let's say for an example you do not have full admin permission on your tenant. You only have the maker permission and you wanted to have the list of all the available flows that has been created by you or on which you have an access. So how can you get that as a maker? So for that you need to use a simple command that is get flow. So as a maker I am typing get flow and hit enter what happened here is it will show me all the available flows on which I have an access. So I am getting the flow name if the flow is enable or disable this is the entire full name of the flow then user type means I am the owner then its created time modified time environment information and other information about different internal things is being provided to me over here. Now this command is something get flow command I have run with maker permission. Now what happen if I have the admin privileges? If I do have an admin privileges then it will return me all the available flow from all the environment. Now for admin you need to use a command get admin flow. So what happened here is it will provide me the information about all the available flows from all the environment. Now let me get first execute a command that uh, which are the available environment into my tenant and then as an admin if I want to retrieve the flow information from specific environment then as well I can do that. Let me show you that step as well. So just hit enter and it will go uh, give you all the available flows from all your environment. Now first let me just execute a command that get power apps environment. So what happened here is once we hit this code it will give us all the available environment from my tenant. So let's say for an example this is my default environment right and now I wanted to have an information that as an admin I want to get all the flows only from this particular environment. Then I need to execute this command 
get admin flow then you need to pass the environment name and this id for your environment like let's say for an example this is the id for the default environment so let's pass that id and hit enter so what happened here is it will return me all the flows from that particular environment as the admin so let's say in your environment you have 500 users and if any user has created any flow it will provide that information to you over here so this is the admin cmd lets that we have run for the admin user now let's coming over to the main part to export the list in a csv format so let's say as a maker if you want to export this flow into csv then you need to simply use a command get flow and then you need to provide the csv path so let's say for an example here i have written a command as a maker get flow export csv and into this particular folder i just wanted to have my file get user file and now hit enter then let's go to the folder so here in the c drive you can see that one csv file has been created so this is how the exported file is looking like it has exported all the columns over here with flow name flows display name its user type that is owner or uh, some another access then it's created last modified every information is provided over now let's say i want to export the list as a admin user then let's go to the powershell again and let's provide specific environment if you wanted to export that from specific environment so basically i need to provide a code get admin flow then environment name if you want to specify any specific environment name then this is the environment id and after that similar code export csv path on which path you wanted to export that and uh, let me just change the file name and let's hit enter as you can see here it has exported all the flows as a admin user into csv file so let's open up that csv file and the file is looking like this it has provided all the information to me over here so this is how you can easily export the list of all the available flows from your specific environment or from your entire tenant hope this tip is helpful to you one more important thing I have provided the information about all this powershell command to my github repository you can directly download it from there hope this video is helpful to you if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel i am uploading new video related power bi power apps power automate power virtual agents teams and sharepoint every day on my channel so make sure that you hit subscribe and never miss any updates from my channel also one more important thing here you can find all the links about all my social media handles or contact information if you are looking for any consultancy click on this website it will redirecting you to the my website or page from there click on the contact information and you can just write a message and i will get back to you on the same also if you want to follow me on different social media handle here is a link to url click on that it will be redirecting you to this page from here you can follow me on all my social media handles like facebook twitter whatsapp instagram github and lots more if you are interested for instagram learning click on this link it will redirecting you to my instagram home page over here you can learn different power platform concept in form of post reels and igtv format so make sure that you follow me on instagram as well my insta id is power platform guy also if you are interested for different power platform podcast here is a podcast channel click on that it will redirecting you to the my podcast home page from here you can listen your favorite power platform podcast on the favorite podcast platform like google podcast apple podcast spotify and much more also if you are interested for different short video related power platform here is a channel called digital thruvin click on that and subscribe that channel and show your love over there as well This is Truvin signing off see you in the next session have a great day goodbye